Hello, this is teacher Eileen. Nice to see you again. Today's video is Domain and Range of Composite Functions Part 2. So, if you are new here, please watch the first video Domain and Range of Composite Functions Part 1 by click on the link which is given in the description. Today we are going to talk about how to find the range of a composite function. First, we need to find the composite function by substitute the first function into the second function. Then we need to simplify to get the composite function. Then we try to sketch the graph of this composite function. If we are able to sketch this composite function, means we can find the range of the composite function by using this graph, then based on the domain of the first function or based on the restricted domain of the first function. Then if we are not able to sketch the composite function, or maybe the composite function is too difficult to be sketched, then we can make use of the second function to find the range of the composite function. To do this, first we need to find the new domain of this second function. Because at this stage, the input of the second function it is not only the original domain of the second function, it is also we need to consider also the range which is come from the first function. So after we have got the new domain for this second function, now we try to sketch this second function. Then by using this second function and based on the new domain, then from there, we are able to find the new range of this second function. So the new range of this second function is the range of the composite function. Let's look at this example. Given that f of x is x power 2 plus 2 where x is greater than or equal to negative 2 and g of x is square root of 7 minus x, determine whether the composite function fg exists. Then hence, find the domain and range of composite function fg. So in the video, domain and range of composite functions part 1, it is shown that the composite function fg exists. And the domain of this composite function fg is less than 7 and included 7. So now we need to find the range for the composite function fg. First, we substitute the function g of x into the function f. So now the x we replace with square root of 7 minus x. Then after that, we try to simplify. After simplify, we found that we will get 9 minus x. Now, since this is linear function, it is easy to be sketched. So now we sketch the composite function fg. So now the y-intercept is 9. x-intercept is also 9. So, since the domain is less than 7, so we need to find out when x it is 7, so we found that y is equal to 2. So, we mark this value in the graph. So, when x is 7, y it is 2. So, then uh, because the domain of the composite function is less than 7, include the 7, so means the part of the graph that we need to take is here. Then, and since 7 is included, so we put a solid dot here. 
now from here we can find the range of this graph so based on this range we found that the range of the composite function is greater than 2 and included 2 second example given that f of x is 3x over x minus 1 and g of x is 2 over x determine whether the composite function gf exists then find the domain and range such that composite function gf exists now from the video domain and range of composite functions part 1 we found that the range of function f is all the value of y except 3 and the domain of function g is all the value x except 0 and we also found that composite function gf does not exist and the domain of this composite function is all the value of x except 0 and 1 so now we are going to find the range of this composite function so first we try to find the composite function gf by substitute f into g so 2 over x is replaced with 3x over x minus 1 now we change this becomes 2 divided by 3x over x minus 1 then divide we change to multiply then we turn over this fraction becomes x minus 1 over 3x then we simplify we will get the rational function 2x minus 2 over 3x now since this is the rational function now when we want to sketch the rational function we know that all rational functions have got vertical asymptote and also horizontal asymptote now we look at uh, vertical asymptote vertical asymptote we can look at the denominator where denom denominator cannot be equal to zero so x equals zero is the vertical asymptote as for horizontal asymptote we just need to take the coefficient the coefficient of the x at the numerator and the coefficient of x at denominator so in this case it is 2 over 3 so means the horizontal asymptote for this rational function is 2 over 3 so we mark the line by dotted line and it is uh, y equals 2 over 3 as the horizontal asymptote now uh, the curve is either at the first and third quadrant or second and fourth quadrant so now when we look at uh, when y it is equal to 0 so when y it is equal to 0 we found that x is equal to 1 so means the intersection point for x exists is 1 so we mark here x exists is equal to 1 means the curve is in this fourth quadrant and also in second quadrant so this is the curve then based on the domain okay the domain is negative infinity so we mark the part of the graph that is from negative infinity up to zero then not included zero then from zero up to one not included one then from one up to positive infinity now based on here we try to find the range so this is the range for the composite function gf so when we start from negative infinity here we find that the range is start from negative infinity up to 
zero not included zero then from zero up to two over three not equals two over three then from two over three up to positive infinity so this is the range for this composite function now by using this method you must be able to sketch the composite function which is the rational function 2x minus 2 over 3x now in case you forget how to sketch this rational function then you still have another alternative which is you try to use the second function to find the range of the composite function which is the function g of x so but before this we need to find the new domain for this function g where the new domain for this function g is equal to the range of the function f intersect with the original domain of function g now uh, in order to find the new domain we try to use the number line to help us now since range of f is all the value of uh, y except 3 and domain is all the value except 0 so now when we compare intersection means the region where has got uh, both the arrow line which is from negative up to 0 0 up to 3 and greater than 3 so therefore the new domain for this function g is negative up to 0 not included 0 then from 0 to 3 3 to infinity not included 3 then next we need to sketch this second graph since the second graph is the reciprocal that is the normal graph so we can easily sketch this graph then based on the new domain okay we try to find out the region since at the new domain we have the critical point zero and we have the critical point three so we need to find out when x is equal to 3 y is value of y so when x it is equal to 3 y is 2 over 3 now we mark the value 2 over 3 here then from the domain here we try to find out the part of the curve which is involved so from the domain negative infinity up to 0 then from 0 up to 3 but not included 3 then from 3 up to positive infinity now based on this shaded part of the curve we can find the range of this uh, second function which is gx so from here from the graph which is shaded by red ink so we find that the new range for this function g is from negative up to 0 but not included 0 then from 0 up to 2 over 3 not included 2 over 3 then from 2 over 3 up to positive infinity so this new range for the function g also consider as the range for this composite function so therefore the range for the composite function gf is from negative infinity up to zero not equal to zero then from zero up to two over three not included two over three then from two over three up to positive infinity so this is the answer for range of this composite function gf example 3 it is given that function f of x is x squared plus 2 and g of x is square root of 7 minus x determine whether composite function gf exists then find the domain in range such that 
gf exists now from the video domain and range of composite functions part one we found that the range of f is greater than two included two and domain of g is less than seven and included seven and uh, composite function gf does not exist then domain of composite function gf is from negative square root of 5 up to positive square root of 5. Now we want to find the range of composite function gf. First we try to find gf by substitute the function f into function g. So function g is square root of 7 minus x where we substitute x with x power 2 plus 2 then we try to simplify in order to get the final composite function so the composite function is 5 minus x squared now if we don't know how to sketch this curve now we have another alternative which is we can make use of the second function which is g so now we need to find the new domain for function g which is range of f intersect domain of g now in order to find the new domain of g so we make use of the number line and we mark the range of f which is greater than 2 included 2 and domain of g which is less than 7 and included 7 now the intersection means the region where we have got two arrow line that is between 2 to 7 so therefore the new domain is 2 to 7 included 2 and included 7 next we need to sketch the graph of this function g so since function g is the uh, square root function by using the transformation method we find that this is the curve and we label with 7 and also we need to label when x it is equal to 2 we need to find out what is value of y so when x it is equal to 2 we find out that y is equal to square root of 5 so now we mark the x is 2 y is square root of 5 then because uh, 2 and 7 is included so we make uh, we mark the solid dot here then the region that we are going to take is from 2 to 7 then from here we can find the range of this shaded part of the curve so the new range is from 0 up to square root of 5 so this new range for g also is the range of this composite function so therefore we make conclusion that the range of this composite function gf is 0 to positive 5